Hi, and welcome to Movies Suck. Today, I'm reviewing Spies in Disguise. And I have to say, this is a much better movie than it had any right to be, seeing as it was directed by two guys who hadn't directed before, not to mention, since there were two of them, they must have been on very good terms to not spend the whole time arguing over the creative direction of the movie. The writers also did a pretty good job with the script, the movie is funny, imaginative in places, and while the main story is very run-of-the-mill and has been told a million times, the twist in the tale manages to keep it interesting enough so you won't find yourself getting bored. It does suffer from the usual Hollywood tropes, but they're not so in your face that they distract you from what is a fun kids movie. I did find the insistence on not killing the bad guys a bit lame, but as I said, this is for children. They won't even notice this aspect anyway. Will Smith finally finds himself in a movie role this year that doesn't make me want to tear out my eyes or drop a grand piano on the casting director. As after the debacle that was Aladdin and the truly terrible Gemini Man, it has gotten to the point now that when I see Will Smith's name attached to a movie, I have to seriously argue with myself over whether it's really worth my time. Which is a sad thing, as Will Smith used to be one of the go-to guys for a good movie, whether it was drama, or action, or his speciality, action comedy, but it's really starting to feel like he is no longer relevant. Hopefully, he will prove me wrong with the release of Bad Boys for Life, but I won't be holding my breath. That said, he is in his element here, as the seriously cool spy Lance Sterling, a James Bond ripoff who can do anything and for whom no situation is too much to handle, and who always works alone. That is, until he meets what seems to be both his nemesis and his redemption in the form of Walter Beckett, voiced by Tom Holland, a young nerdy inventor who is a member of Team Weird, according to his mum. From a young age, Walter knew exactly what he had to do, and ever since has spent his life working hard at creating the world's best non-lethal spy gadgets, from the glitter kitten thing to the amusing Fifty Shades of Gay, which I am shocked got past the Hollywood self-censoring brigade. Walter and Lance are flung into a crazy adventure after Super Spy Lance is framed by an evil claw-handed villain. Lance asks Walter for help and is accidentally transformed into a pigeon. From this point, neither he nor Walter will ever be the same again, as they come to rely on each other and use teamwork to get the job done. It sounds silly, and it is silly, but it's also a lot of fun. There were a few scenes in this movie that had me laughing out loud, which after the failure of such comedies as Charlie's Angels 2019, Hustle, and Terminator Dark Fate, caught me a bit by surprise. I mean, maybe Will Smith hasn't quite lost his charm just yet. The plot of this movie sounds a lot worse than it actually is, and I surprised myself by actually quite enjoying this rather silly take on the spy movie genre. Obviously, it's mostly aimed at children, and you really can't go wrong by sticking this movie on the TV and letting your children stare glazedly at the screen until you've finished making them dinner, or drinking yourself into a stupor, whichever you prefer. The voice acting is pretty good, though it is a bit distracting that the actors are simply using their normal voices, which drags you out of the movie at first. It isn't the best film released this year, and I doubt it will be getting any accolades, but it's certainly worth a watch if you are wondering what to do with your family during this holiday period. So my verdict is that, if what you want is a cerebral, thought-provoking movie, then you are expecting way too much from your average Hollywood cartoon. If what you are looking for is a fun way to while away a couple of hours without drinking yourself into an alcoholic coma, then this movie will just about do the job. But if you have children and you want to watch a light-hearted, silly, family-friendly movie, then you cannot go far wrong with this engaging little movie about a spy turned pigeon turned, well, spy and his nerdy sidekick. Now, I'm off to see if I can come up with a formula to turn lead into gold. After all, if it's this easy to turn a human into a pigeon, lead into gold must be a doddle. This is Movies Suck, wishing that you have all had a very Merry Christmas. Signing out. Leave a like, share, subscribe, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Let's get weird. Boom.